Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending April 27th, 2018. Uh, starting off with more news about the upcoming Studio Ghibli theme park. That's right. More concept art has been released, revealing many areas, including a replica of the Princess Mononoke Village, a street from Kiki's Delivery Service, a miniature Howl's Moving Castle, a replica of the house from My Neighbor Totoro and Envir Environment, and a Whisper of the Heart antique shop. The park should open in Aichi Prefecture about four years from now. Boy, am I looking forward to that. Meanwhile, Kenichi Sonoda's mysterious new project has now been revealed. Project BB refers to Bean Bandit, admittedly not a particularly tough mystery, and will be a crossover anime of some kind, series, movie, OVA, not sure, that also includes Rally Vincent and Minnie Mae Hopkins from Gunsmith Cats. A preview will be shown at Anime Central in Chicago in May. So if you're heading over there, that might be something worth looking at. And speaking of Gunsmith Cats, the recent Kickstarter for a North American Blu-ray release has done well. Like, really well. It's raised over 300,000 US dollars, which meets all of its stretch goals, including an English commentary track for episode three. <clears throat> other stretch goals involve commentary tracks from seven other Japanese and North American staff, plus new materials by Kenichi Sonoda, the creator. Comics, stickers, all sorts of cool stuff. It met its initial goal in only four hours. Granted, it's an easy sell, a short OVA set in America that actually gets American culture right, so that's kind of nice. Um, Mamoru Hosoda's newest film, Mirai of the Future, will also screen at the Annecy Animation Festival this June. It will be in competition for Annecy's awards. Uh, in addition, Liz and the Blue Bird and Mari Okada's Makwaya, I think I'm pronouncing that right, will be screened at Annecy but are not up for awards themselves. So, uh, certainly making the awards circuit. Um, then, after all the drama around Nobuhiro Watsuki's arrest on possession of DVDs with uh, nude underage girls, uh, the future of the Roni Kenshin sequel manga was thrown into doubt. Uh, but now that Watsuki has kind of gone through the process, expressed his regret, and is, quote, living a life of reflection and atonement, Jump SQ has announced that they'll res resume the manga on June 4th. Uh, as they put it, continuing the manga to answer, to answer the desires of fans was a matter of duty. So we'll be getting more Kenshin soon enough. Finally, I hope you were not planning to go to the Universal Fan Con convention in Baltimore, Maryland this week. Less than a week before the con was supposed to happen, this was like on Sunday, the organizers announced that they were postponing the convention. Not canceling it, mind you, just postponing it. Apparently they weren't making enough money to put on the convention and make their budget. So convention's just not happening. Uh, the Baltimore Science Fiction Society then announced that they're putting on events over the weekend in their own space to cater to folks who had already made the trip, uh, and other nearby fan organization, organizations are trying to make alternate arrangements, and at least one Japanese guest has uh, expressed regret for what's happened. Here's hoping the organizers do the same. <laughs> 